everybody, welcome back to an indie box unboxing. This one for May. This is for Dust and Illusion Tale. Uh, it's a game that I have a few copies of. <laughs> but it's a really awesome box. This one actually opens on the front. It's a lot of really cool artwork. Um, hopefully that's a little bit easier to see. Um, it's got, you know, shiny here, not so shiny there. Stuff like that, but it's really cool. Uh, and then another set of cards this month. Uh, we'll take those out first and get those out of the way. This is the, I think, third month for cards. Um, so I'll, maybe I'll put a picture of them all together. So there's Dust from Dust and Legion Tale. Uh, if you don't know what Dust and Legion Tale is, it's a really cool, just sort of like side-scroller uh, adventure. Um, I guess you would call it furry, but it's not annoyingly so. Uh, it's got really good voice work, uh, so it's really good. Um, awesome. What's that one? Night? Night? I don't know what Night Squad is, but um, yeah, those are those cards. So I've got three out of what the four of these things I think. So we'll see what those add up to here in the next month. Um, but let's see what is in our box. Boop. Boop. Let's see what we got here. First. Oh hey! Uh, this is like your sidekick. Uh, she's like Navi <laughs> from Zelda. She also equally as annoying. Um, but yeah, she's cool. I've, I've played maybe a good hour or so of the game, so I'll have to uh, put over it. Ooh, cool. So there's a uh, artwork. Let me flip it the correct way so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, some cool artwork, and it actually has a certificate of authenticity on the back. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see what else we've got in here. Oh, the, the nice uh, instruction book, as always. Um, those always are really nice. A lot of really cool art in there. Uh, what else we've got? Ooh, sticker. I think I got oh, there's another sticker stuck to the back of this guy. So here's a two sticker. Ooh, that's a really good sticker, actually. I really like that one. That's pretty good. Um, I like the Indie Box one, too. They always do really cool stuff with the Indie Box stickers. Uh, oh, Mickey Soft Aces. Um, so that was cool. Uh, and then, of course, the nice soundtrack. Um, I like the really, I like the packaging. This one, that's got a bunch of uh, nice, bunch of songs on it. So that'll be cool. It's two CDs, or well, two discs. Um, so that's pretty cool. We've got ooh, a little fabric poster. I've done the fabric posters before. I think I did one for Towerfall. Um, maybe another. Don't remember. Ooh, that's big. Oh, this is a little, a little bit different. The other one, the Towerfall one's like a thinner fabric, and this is more of a, a thick. It's like a I guess you would say like a synthetic burlap is the best way to describe what that is. <laughs> but that looks cool. I like that. Um, artwork of the worlds. Uh, oh, very last thing. The, the, oh, that's cool. The USB key. It is the sword from the game. Uh, if I can get into it. Holy crap. There we go. Uh, sort of almost like Transistor. The sword talks to you. Um... But only in the sense that you're like, you've awakened it and it tells you to go on a journey and all that fun stuff. It's not so much an act. It's, it's not really character. Not so much as I've played. So let's see if we can get that to actually focus. Um, so that's, yeah, well, it's actually pretty, pretty detailed as I hold it out of frame. Pretty detailed. Good luck focusing on that camera. Um, it's trying its best. But it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, maybe we'll throw a, a picture in there for you guys. Um, but where is it? US, oh, here it is. It's the USB. That's super cool. I like that they've moved to this. They, previously they had like the little uh, like ATM card style USBs. They were really cool, but I like these a lot better. You can put them on a shelf and they look cool. But uh, that's kind of it. We'll, uh, oh, back of the box. I think I show you guys that one. It's pretty cool. This one's got a lot of good artwork on the box. I really like the, uh, the opening thing. Much more storytelly, which is, I mean, the, the game itself is really heavy on story. So it's cool. So we'll uh, be back in a second or two with a little, quick little playthrough of Dust and Illusion Tale. Bye. Alrighty, guys. This is going to be the quick little walkthrough of Dust and Illusion Tale. It's the indie box game this month. Uh, it was originally out on PSN. Uh, it's been on PS PS Plus. It's been on Humble Bundle. Um, so it's it's definitely been out for quite a while. It's pretty well received. It's got as you can see, it's real real pretty. Uh, I think I believe it's hand animated. Um, Cutscenes are animated, and they have little. Uh, voiceovers we're just starting here kind of after the first five minutes or so where they kind of teach you how to play kind of skip that part but um 
just to give you a quick look and, and feel for the game. Everything's super pretty. Um, I've played this a little bit before, um, but it's one of those things where you, know, you play for like a week or two and then you stop and you <laughs> don't pick it up for another two, three months and you have absolutely no clue where you're at. So that's where we're kind of starting over here. Um, you can look up and down. Look around, hide about. But the uh, general idea is that um, the sword is some magical sword that's kind of chosen you um, for this quest it wants. Ooh, chicken in a wall. Um, it's quick heals. You can gather items and make stuff. Yeah, here's a good example of the uh, voice acting. And there's something just ahead. Yeah, I should definitely tell you. Oh, hey, there's stuff going on. Um, uh, can I hop down through that? No, you can't. Okay. There are certain things you can kind of hop down through like you'd expect. Oh, that looks cool. Ooh. Oh, cool. I can... I can dash. But dash just uses energy. I tried to do that previously. It didn't let me. Okay. You little rabbits. Look cute they are. Come on. There we go. More wall chicken. And a note. And here's treasure. Oh, right. We found a chest. Correction. We found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era. And are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key then. Let's show you how locks work. This, uh. Oh, cool. I don't know. Nope, can't go through there. Uh, this talking sword is probably uh, second only to the one in Transistor, as far as ones I like. He's, he's alright. Transistor sword's definitely a better talking sword overall. Um, if you haven't played Transistor, you should definitely check that out, especially if you like Bastion. It's by the same uh, developer. It's pretty awesome. But this game is just super pretty. All the animations. Look at the little Bambi. You ran the wrong way, Bambi. Uh, now we get to fight. <laughs> Calm yourself, fidget. Good old Dust. Fidget. Focus. Just there for Remember comedic effect. She uh, is actually kind of useful. I mean, she'll tell you if there's bad stuff nearby. She'll tell you if there's chests. Uh, she can actually use her to attack later on. She gets like a ranged attack of sorts. I don't want to escape. All right. Do we kill them all? Yeah. Nobody said anything about. And she's the little plush that, if you just watched the beginning uh, unboxing, she's the little plush that we got in the box. Um, kind of gave you a little fat, squished-up version of her, but it's it's close enough. Um, but this is kind of the general idea of the game. Uh, it's a platform adventure type game. You can uh, like build armor and weapons. I don't think you can build weapons, but just you can build armor and other items and such based off what the enemies drop. Um, all the cutscenes are, you know, voice acted. Has this nice kind of hand drawn effect, all that stuff going on. So it's really cool. Uh, if you haven't played it or checked it out, definitely do so. It's like I said, it's on Steam and it was a PS Plus game for free for a while. It's been through Humble Humble Bundle. So definitely, definitely worth a good look. It's a good game. Um, but that'll be it for now. If you guys have any other comments or questions, let us know. See you in the next one. Bye. Hey everybody, this is J2A. We just want to say thanks for watching our video. We appreciate any and all support we get from viewers, new and returning. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye! Bye.